We've picked off the Summer of Arcade titles one by one and we've finally reached Bastion here with uh, Greg from Supergiant Games. Uh, what is Bastion? Uh, well, uh, Bastion is an original action role-playing game where uh, the world forms up around you as you move through the game. Uh, you're, this, you're this character who wakes up to discover that this uh, surreal catastrophe has literally torn your world to pieces. So you make your way to a location called the Bastion where your people were supposed to go in case anything went wrong. Uh, but all you find there is this old man who believes he has the power to set everything right, but he needs your help. So you join forces with him uh, in, in order to find the materials that you need in order to restore this Bastion location to its full power. Uh, of course, the, the story, I think, is a lot more interesting than I just made it sound because we have this narration technique where the story is unraveling as you go through this uh, narrative voiceover um, who's often commenting on like some of the smallest decisions and actions that you make uh, as you play. It's, uh, it has to be kind of experienced to see what it's like, but the, the reaction that we get from people has been really positive so far. Um, yeah, go. So for, for, for this genre, the action RPG, I find that a lot of the time the narrative, you just skip past it, and yeah. you, you basically, you just, your, your sole motivation is loot or experience. Yeah. Uh, but you're trying to turn that a little bit on the side. Yeah, that's right. We, we thought, so we love the action RPG genre. Games like Diablo are some of our all-time favorite games. At the same time, when we set out to make an action RPG, we're like, we don't want to just do that because we think that's already really good. And like, we have nothing to add there. We want to do our own thing. Um, and, and we found that one of the opportunities is around like telling story uh, in this kind of world and, and making a 2D, like much more action-oriented game uh, that has almost like a classic style of play, like really tight and responsive action, you know, compared to like the stats-based, uh, you know, loot-based gameplay that you get in most action RPGs. So between the way that we've changed the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay and also this, uh, this kind of emphasis on the narrative, the sense that there's something bigger going on in this game right from the very beginning. Uh, hopefully that makes it, you know, compelling right from the start. Could you say, say something about the art style? I think it's very distinctive and, and one of the things that really stands out about the game. Yeah, the, the art style is really important to us. It's all, it's all the work of our artist, Gen Z. Uh, she, we think she's amazing. Um, she, she came onto the project uh, when we already had a good sense for like the kind of tone we wanted to hit. We already had some of the music and the narration and, and she started creating the art for it, and she, we just thought she nailed it right away um, in terms of like creating the setting that, that uh, was, was at once kind of very beautiful, but also like destroyed and had, had sort of a, had a, had a mix of emotions uh, to it that it generated and also felt like kind of a storybook come to life. So we really liked that style and we just ran forward with it. It's something that strikes me with uh, Xbox Live Arcade and perhaps especially like Summer of Arcade titles that the, the games with a, a unique and fine art style really do, tend to do really well. Uh, we, we certainly hope so. I mean, uh, it, when, when we formed the studio and, and came up with the idea for this game like, like around two years ago, um, it was games like Braid and Castle Crashers that really inspired us. These are Summer of Arcade games, so to actually be in Summer of Arcade is a real honor for us. Um, we definitely feel like we're following, you know, we, we, we're doing our own thing, of course, but we, at the same time, we, we owe a debt to games like that, I think, because they were created by these really small teams with a really specific idea for what they wanted to do, and hopefully Bastion will, will have that, it will give people that sort of an impression also. And are you completely finished with the game right now? Uh, we are just about finished. We're just kind of waiting for the final, you know, green rubber light proof. rubber stamp. Yeah, but, um, you know, the game is on. Uh, Summer of Arcade starts on July 20th. We don't know our exact date within there, but we're going to be in there somewhere, and it should be done well ahead, well in time for that. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.